Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to try something a little bit new. We're going to give kind of an overall uh, DFS preview for the entire day using all of the sports that I'm going to be playing today. Um, just to give you a real, real Cliff's Notes version of how to analyze all the sports and how to build lineups with all of the sports. And we're not going to do any drill downs into the different players or the different spots or anything like that. We're completely going to lineup build given the projections that we've already run. And we're going to be talking about uh, all three sports that are really going tonight. We have MLB, uh, NBA, and NHL. Now, NBA is showdown, NHL is showdown, MLB is normal classic slate. But we're going to continue to just, we're going to go through all three sports. And the way we're going to do it is first, we're going to take a look at my sheets. Uh, then we are going to take a look at um, Saber Sim builds. And we're going to talk about how to use Saber Sim along the way. We're going to talk about how to upload along the way and just basically get through the entire board. So I'm going to timestamp these at the beginning. Uh, so if you don't, if you're not interested at all in say baseball, you can fast forward. Uh, if you want to just go straight to NBA, you could do that straight to NHL. You could do that, but this is considered, I guess, the intro into what we're going to be doing. All right. So we're going to start with MLB. And the first thing I do want to look at is the sheets. And we're going to go through both uh, uh, DK and FanDuel. So let's first look at DK. And again, I've sorted everything by sheets value score, um, which is my favorite way of just kind of uh, organizing all this stuff. And you'll see that pitching wise at the top of the list, you do have James Paxton as kind of standing out as the top overall pitching option. Now you will also see when you look at the ownership column that he's rated to be the highest own, which I guess makes some sense. Uh, and then after that, you do have a little drop to Jesus Lazardo. Um, who has a decent sheets value score of 30. And then it's kind of a decent sized drop to the other guys like Efren, Dunning, et cetera. Uh, one thing that is sort of interesting is, well, it's not actually that interesting. Uh, Lazardo also is getting quite a bit of ownership. So it doesn't look like we're getting any real break uh, getting different as far as pitching goes. So we're going to have to see where our stacks kind of uh, rate out to see how we're going to probably try to build these things. So, but we're starting off with Paxton Lizardo as top pitching options, followed by all these dudes like Eflin, Dunning, um, Weaver, Logan Webb. I mean, they all kind of rate as real secondary options. Now we are going to look at stacks in a second, but even just eyeballing this, you'll see, you know, a bunch of KC guys showing up as good values. Um, maybe, I don't know, the Angels sort of showing up as decent values, but it looks like KC is going to be probably tough to ignore from a value perspective. But again, you know, you have these guys at 93, 9,600, they're expensive and they're, they're not that expensive. So I don't know if we're going to have to go to that cheap value. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the stacks and see what they look like. Um, okay. So with DK stacks, we're going to first sort just by raw points, which is here in column B. And you see that there are three kind of standouts, Tampa, Boston, and Philly. So, uh, again, this has nothing to do with ownership and certainly nothing to do with price. Um, so if you can get Tampa or Boston or Philadelphia with impunity, I mean, it's probably pretty good, but you'll see that they're actually taking quite a bit of ownership as well. Um, when you sort by modified stack, which is – another good way to do it you see boston again showing up and tampa again showing up but now is where you see kc showing up uh, as i suspected so overall your top stacks are going to be boston tampa boston tampa and and kc you'll notice that tampa and boston appear in both the raw stack rankings um and modified stack which doesn't happen all the time so these would definitely be the top three options, Boston, Tampa, and KC. Now, at this point, you could just try to hand build doing this, but we are going to let Saberson kind of do it for us in this early look. But before we do that, I, I would like to point out that, you know, I always like to see what stacks are kind of rated near the top that are just much lower owned. And from the value side, one thing I look at is Oakland here. Oakland looks to be, Certainly not the top tier, but given its low ownership, I think it's certainly something to consider, especially considering we do have kind of high-priced 
chalky pitchers. I mean, then with respect to raw points, see, Arizona actually looks like a pretty good uh, low-owned option. It's not certainly rating below the top ones, but it looks okay. But honestly, doesn't look like you're getting a lot of breaks here with hitting. I think Arizona maybe and Oakland on the other side. Um, all right, so that's DraftKings. Now, before we go actually and build, then we're going to go and do – FanDuel. Actually, you know what? We're going to do another timestamp. This way, we'll do everything with DraftKings MLB first, and then you'll go, if you want to go past it, you can go to, to FanDuel MLB. So let's pull up SaberSim, and let's build using SaberSim, given the projections that I was just looking at. So we're going to upload these to uh, SaberSim. Uh, exclude unlisted players. And it's, see it repopulated with our projections. And let's build 150 lineups. And we're going to use the 150 max uh, settings. And we're just going to build. We're not going to limit salary or anything like that. We're just going to let it build. And I'm curious to see what your initial build would kind of look like at 125 in the afternoon. Uh, and this is honestly what I do closer to lock as well. But just this kind of like a preview. So it looks as though Paxton would be the top owned pitcher. We're going to sort this way. But then actually Weaver would be next. You know, Lazardo is only kind of just in there. He's not like that big of a top option where Paxton kind of is. So this is interesting. Like Weaver, Dunning, some of these second tier guys are showing up. And not to mention you have guys that I don't think many people are playing. Uh, James Caprillion. Uh, at a 20% uh, ownership clip here for us. Um, now, again, SaberSim does like to build contrarian lineups, and so you'd see why this would be the case. Uh, he would get ownership because we have him rated as only 6% owned. So we were getting over the field on Caprillion here. And also considering, again, Tampa rated to be a top stack, uh, maybe it was considered a highly owned, so playing Caprillion would be good leverage against it. Let's take a look at team stacks and and wow, this is something I didn't consider. You know, Philadelphia is actually the highest owned stack, even though it wasn't even rated in the top when it came to either raw points or value, which is very interesting. Um, Tampa, 28%, Angels, 24%. And when you look at stack types, you know, I would probably tweak this if I were actually keeping this build here. Like I would take out the three twos and whatever. But when it even comes to uh, five-man stacks, let's see, team stacks, five-man stacks, mostly Philadelphia. So that's one of the reasons why I think SaberSim is a really, really good tool. You know, it, it, I looked at my sheets, and I wouldn't have even thought to play Philadelphia. And even using the exact same projections, you get a, a really good builder like SaberSim to build these lineups, and this is what we get. So I find it pretty interesting. So um, that's pretty much the deal with with uh, respect to DraftKings MLB. All right, so let's go to FanDuel and see how it's any different. Um, uh, and again, since I timestamp this, uh, I have to kind of start from the beginning. So with FanDuel, um, well, that's DraftKings. Let me pull my sheet up again. over here sorry so fan we are again we're going to sort these by sheets value score just to give us an idea of what the top plays are and you'll see that paxton rates as clearly the best pitching option I mean, it's a pretty decent sized drop to lizardo and he's being owned accordingly like 37 percent ownership top play the one that's sort of interesting to me if you did have to well shouldn't say that I was going to say that you, if you want to drop down, like all these guys are really a low owned, um, but this gap between Paxton and these guys is pretty big. I mean, you really would need a bad performance out of Paxton um, to justify just getting off of him here. So um, I think that uh, FanDuel, you're going to probably, if you're going to want to get different, it's not going to be a pitching. It's probably going to be a hitting. So let's take a look and see what the hitting looks like over here. 
So the first thing I'll notice before I even pull up the stacks, it looks here as though Philly and Boston and to some degree KC would be pretty well represented. Let's take a look. One difference between DraftKings and FanDuel with respect to my sheets is there is not that much difference between whether you rank them by raw points or by value. Like if we rate these by raw points, you see Boston, what you have is Boston, Tampa, Philly, and then kind of a drop, although not that big, to the Angels in Texas, then a decent-sized drop to Arizona. And then when you change the modified stack, it's not that much different. Philly gets a little bit of, of a bump, but that's about it. But it's the same team. You have Boston, Philly, Angels, Tampa. You get some KC, some Texas. Okay. So that's what you'd be looking to do. you probably play you know, Paxton with two of those as your 4-4. Four, four. Now, one thing I also do like to look at again is which – Stacks are close, but just not highly owned. And you'll see that Texas, as far as FanDuel go, goes, is just on the outside looking in as far as ranking goes, but they're significantly lower owned. And I see Tampa lower owned as well. So I think that Tampa and Texas would probably be the best kind of overall leverage stack. So what I would do, if I didn't feel like using Sabersim to build for me, I'd play Paxton and then probably a combination of those two teams. Uh, Texas and maybe, um, who did I say? Texas and Tampa. All right, but let's see. Let's see what FanDuel would come up with. So we're going to pull up, uh, excuse me, let's see what Sabreson would come up with. So I'll pull it up and we will go to uh, MLB FanDuel. We will pull in the same um, projections that we were just looking at. And let's see what we would do. So we're going to build 150 lineups and we're going to build using the 150 max settings. And let's just see what we come up with. Uh, will it give us all the Paxton and then maybe go to say, like I said, Tampa and who else did I say? Kansas city, no, Tampa and Texas, or will it maybe go down to some of those cheapo pitchers and then pay up for, uh, for Boston? Um, curious to see myself Let's see so pitching wise it's actually only 33 percent um paxton and then kind of a decent spread you get lazardo you get some weaver even some liberatory let's take a look at the stacks that we would get on a fan duel build what well, same as DraftKings. you know philadelphia once again just kind of dominates the board like 46 percent stacks and on philadelphia and then other the other teams I mentioned, Angels, Tampa, and Boston. So it's not really seeing any great need to go down to, well, I was going to say, no great need to go down to Texas, but I do see you're getting about 14% ownership there. So um, I think that this is what you're going to be looking at. Something like Paxton with Philly, Tampa, Angels, Boston, stuff like that. Um Okay, so that's going to be it for baseball, and let's now go on to the uh, to the NBA. Right, so let's pull it up first on 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 um, on uh, Sabres, and then we'll pull our sheets together. So again, this is showdown slate tonight. They're paying a lot for first. Um, it's I don't know if anything's come close to being a unique lineup yet. And you'd imagine that'd be the case. You know, it's the NBA Finals. You're not going to get like scrubs off the bench playing max minutes or anything like that. You, you see that you'll see the ownership projections. Excuse me, the the minutes projections. They all these guys are in the 40s, like the top guys. Let's take a look. Uh, just simple it up. Uh, my sheets for the NBA showdown. I only have what 18 guys projected or 17 guys, which makes sense. And if you look at the minutes projections, I'm going to give one, two, three, four like four guys over 40 minutes, you know? So it's kind of tough for these bench guys to really surprise anybody. And by now the bench is kind of, you know, well set. So if you rank these by sheets value score, this is going to come as no surprise. You have Jokic and Butler rating the best, then Bam and Jamal Murray 
rating next than than Aaron Gordon. I mean, these are just the guys that have been doing most of the work. And in the NBA Finals, that's what you get. And then you have a big drop to these other guys that haven't been doing anything. Um, but with 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 like anything, but more so in in showdown, your lineup build is going to be more important than your player build. I mean, you, you're going to have to figure out a way to get reasonable lineups that also have a chance to, okay, maybe not be completely unique, but maybe have less than, I don't know, 10 dupes, less than five dupes. That, that would be nice. And let's, let's do a couple of things. Let's go to SaberSim and we're going to build two, two ways. Well, first of all, we are going to upload everything. And the first thing we're going to do is just upload the projections. And then we will just build like 150 lineups with no, no restraints. We're going to put, you know, 150 max builds and see what they come up with. And then after we do that, then we're going to make one, maybe two tweaks and see if it's, there's any difference. Now, I've not been able to, to get any builds that are look particularly sexy. You know, I always end up getting like Jokic, like a million percent in the captain. But let's just see if this is any different. Um, wow. Very interesting. I have Butler is actually the highest owned captain by a little bit over Jokic and Bam. So this is very interesting. Um, I might not even have to make any big adjustments here. Um, if I was getting like 100% Jokic in the captain, I'd probably have to screw around. But here, I mean, you're probably getting some kind of funny lineups. Like, look at, look at these with like Order in the captain. Forget that. What about with the ones with Jeff Green in the captain? Like, God forbid those hit. I mean, you could get even I couldn't say unique, but at least close to it. Um, Cause what I was going to do is make a, a salary limitation. Let's just see what we got. So Butler, 27% cap. I presume Yoke is going to be in all lineups, but wow. Only I have Jokic in only 50% of lineups, 28% in, in the utility and 24% in the captain. But I like it. I think I might just stick with this. That's very interesting. Obviously, when I say stick with it, I mean, we have to update projections later. But so what I was going to do, let's, let's, let's download this just for fun. We'll make it like this. So build 50 just for fun. Um, what I was going to do, and let's we may as well, is I was going to make a max salary of 49 something. So let's make it. Make it 49-6. I mean, you can't go too crazy in basketball as opposed to football because basketball projections are usually just pretty solid. But I want to see what would happen if I set a max salary to 49-6, like where the ownership was going to come in. And, and the, because I was expecting to see like 100% Jokic, but, but seeing as I'm not getting 100% Jokic, playing it straight, I don't know if I need to even limit my salary. Let's just see. What what is this going to give me? Like all kinds of KCP and the captain. Let's take a look. Um, very similar actually. Not 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 too much difference between the limits and the non limits. What I'm getting is a whole bunch of KCP by the way. Um. So I might uh, I might keep this build, uh, meaning the limitation of the 49.6, or I might go back to the one that does not have a limitation. Now, this one's a little scary because this one has like some Cody Zeller, actually 24% Cody Zeller, and he might not play a single minute. So operate that at... <laughs> Take that for what it's worth. As a matter of fact, let's go back to that other build and see how much Cody Zeller I'm getting there. He's just so cheap that it makes so much of your lineup work that you could even get a zero out of him. Maybe do some business. And God forbid, you know, Bam gets into foul trouble or whatever it is. 
Um, okay. So that's uh, DraftKings uh, NBA Showdown. Now let's do uh, FanDuel NBA Showdown. All right, so with FanDuel NBA Showdown, here's the main Sabersim sheet. And let's, again, we'll start with the my sheets here. And as you might imagine, I mean, I'm not, I don't project that many players. I only have 16 players projected. And the unfortunate reality is with only five slots in the NBA, it's uh, it's tough to get unique, but I mean they they do some funny stuff, you know, with the 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 MVP and the star, you know, the two point the two X and the one point five X. So I don't know, it's 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 a fun sweat. We'll probably play. And as again, as you look through here, you don't really see too much in you know in the projections that's you know particularly earth shattering. <laughs> you know, like the top rated guys are the top players. You know, so. If you want to do some funny business, it's got to come in the own in the in the roster construction. So let's go into fan into Sabersim and let's see what kind of what kind of builds we would get. Now here we definitely well first of all we're uploading our projections. Now we have to limit our salary here because if you set if you get salaries that are maxed out at Fanduel. I mean, you're going to get like 80, 80 weight dues. So let's let's put a min max salary of forty nine thousand five hundred. We'll put, we'll build just fifty lineups to see. And I'm curious to see. Well, for those of you who didn't that skipped right ahead, DraftKings to Vandal. When we did the DraftKings run, we didn't even get a hundred percent Jokic throughout both utility or um, captain. So only 24% captain, 26% utility. Very surprising. I wonder if uh, FanDuel, the Saberson build, is going to be, you know, as cavalier. Uh, I doubt it. I think I think you're going to end up getting 100% Jokic. But we'll see. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. Uh, so actually, Butler's the highest owned MVP by a lot. I like it. I kind of like this whole thing. This kind of anti Jokic in the in the captain idea. So yeah, let's 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 save this. And that's why you run these things using Saberson because it takes into account correlation, takes into account ownership paid, and it doesn't just give you the highest projected players, which is. Why well, I like Saberson to for a lot of the showdown stuff. So yeah, that's basically would be my early builds and my early runs for FanDuel uh, NBA showdown. We're gonna do more of these later. I'll probably do several more of them. But this is kind of what I'm doing. So now let's go on for the last sport of the day, which will be hockey. All right. So with the NHL again, it's Stanley Cup Finals. Um, it is just obviously just a showdown tonight, and We'll pull this. We'll pull this up. And unlike basketball, there you do get to project like a decent number of players because there are more people playing. But even still, you're still going to get max minutes out of the top guys, um, and that's just the way it's going to be. But let me see how many I even projected here. I might. I, yeah, I don't know. I projected 36 guys from two teams. I think that's pretty fair. And if you look here, you'll see that the Vancouver goalie is the one that rates the best of all of the options. Um, but again, like like all showdowns, you don't really want to hand build. I mean, you really, I mean, if I want to hand build, you know what I could do? I could pick like the top, literally I could pick the top six guy, whatever it is, and play him that way. But I think you want to use Saberson to kind of help you do this. Let's just see, just for the hell of it. Let me pull up. Um, all right, we're just going to build a FanDuel, excuse me, a DraftKings NHL showdown slate. Let's see what this would be. Let's let's just take the top guy. So who's it? Hill, Carrier, Eichel, March. So let's just go. Let's 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 just. Let's just pick the top projected guys. Hill here. Oh, it's already hard. Oh, because they give you carrier as a cheapo. 
it's now becomes easy, right? Can you play Eichel? Yeah, play Eichel. And then I have March Assault next. I just rate everybody by sheets value score or what ends up happening. Well, you could actually do this because then you get Barkov would be next. And then with 5,000 left, there's a lot of ways you could go. I mean, and you could you could either if you wanted to, you know, play uh well, that's interesting. I have a salary, I have my salary long here. I have Forstling at 5K. For some reason, they have him. It's really weird. What do they have for Eichel? Yeah, they don't have the right salary here. I got I to gotta look into that. Um, it's really strange. All right, so fine. Fair enough. But the point is, is, you could play the highest projected guys and make it work uh, if you wanted to. As a matter of fact, just for, just for funsies, pro probably, should, probably should just do one, you know, just in case. Anyway, let's go to Sabersim and let's, let's actually, we're going to also have to confirm what the salaries are. So who's right here? Well, they had, where was the discrepancy? Well, it was, first of all, it was Eichel. What do they have Eichel at? What do they have Eichel? Let's see. Eichel 9-4. So I have my salaries are incorrect. Interesting. Um, all right. So in any case, uh, let's uh let's upload. Again, you know, what my salaries are don't really matter too much. Let's build, I don't know, you want to build four, you know, 40 lineups for the hell of it? Why not? We'll build 150 max, 40. Let's we don't I don't think we need to uh do max salary because we are we have 36 guys. So I don't I really don't think you need to worry about uniqueness that much. And as long as you correlation right, I think that's gonna be good enough. Let's see. So yeah, uh mostly Aiden Hill. Um but it's got a lot of guys in the captain. You have Kachuk is questionable. We got to keep an eye on that. But overall, I mean, this is probably what I would do. It's just kind of let Saberson run my stuff and just, just play some lineups here. So you are going to get Aiden uh, Hill as the top guy in the captain, about 35% him in the captain um, if you if you run it this way. And that's pretty much it for for uh, for DFS today. We have MLB, both DraftKings and FanDuel. We have NBA, both DraftKings and FanDuel, and we have NHL. I'm just playing DraftKings today. And hopefully that shows you how to use both the sheets and the and SaberSim to build some lineups for today. Uh, for those of you that are interested, we, we're doing it live at 6 o'clock. Me and Bobby, we're going to be going over the slates. I don't, you know, Bobby doesn't play too much uh, hockey, but we're going to go over baseball and basketball at least, and maybe I'll spend a couple of minutes on the hockey. And let me know what you think of this format, this overall kind of summary. Um, and I think what I've, I'm going to do is the more sports they have, maybe the, the quicker I'll go, like through them. Um, that's it.